This is a Hyo Silver training video on how to install incremental flap control. Going to go to Battleground Europe, go to their basic flight maneuvers, go down here to use of flaps and rudders. Under use of flaps and rudders in combat, they have a section which has flap control. And you have this information right here that you can copy and paste into your CMFL file. After you've copied that, you're going to go in, open up a notepad, paste that so you have it ready to go just in case. Just save it down at the, the bottom of the screen. Then you're going to go in to your start and then you're going to your documents. You're going to go to Battleground Europe, CMFL file. Anytime you save something in the game, key map it, you're going to have a separate individual file inside the CMFL file. The general air file is going to be the top one. You're going to want to save the entire file just in case. Copy it, open up another notepad, paste it, then you're going to want to save as uh, to your desktop. You don't, want to put, you don't want to save it in the same file. You want to save it in a separate file, so save it to desktop. You go see FML file. I've already done this several times, so I've got that in there. And then you're going to uh, save it, go to the, uh, and that'll go to the desktop. And that way, when you make any changes, if there's any problems, then you don't have to worry about it. And you're going to open that up. You're going to go to the middle section here where it starts with control, function, flap control. Go all the way down to where it says control, function, turret. You'll stop just before you get to that. You're going to copy and paste this here. So you're going to copy this. And then you're going to paste it right here. And then you're going to save it. And then you're going to go ahead and close it. To check, to check this out or to test it, you're going to go to your start. Go to all programs. You're going to go down to cornered rat software. Go to practice offline so you can test this out. And then once your program <coughs> starts up, you're going to go in pull out a fighter, either Allied or German, it doesn't make any difference, just whichever. You're gonna go to the fighter area, grab an airplane, check out your flaps. If you look right down here on the right hand side, over here, uh, I've got my flap control. Press the, the key for increments, you can see the flaps are raising. They're not gonna show visual, visibly on the, the wing until you hit 50% and then because that's just the way they're modeled and uh, for the graphics portion of it. They're, even though they're working, they're, they're still just not going to show. So basically in the game, you'll, you'll see the flaps on or off, um, even though you're doing it incrementally. Uh, but visually, that's, that's just on off. And what it looks like inside the plane, uh, to, 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 when you're practicing offline, you just use Control x to go outside, and then Control left Control x uh, for going in and outside of the airplane. And then from the inside, you can see the hear the flaps moving incrementally and then uh, you know going for up and down also note that you can put in these uh, controls to your joystick and here are a couple different options one where the uh, flaps go up in increments in, in as you lower the flaps in increments then you can retract it with a single press or you can this one down below here you can uh, do it in increments both up and down and these are a couple options. You can just plug in these these amounts, these values here, and um, have them work for you. And that would thank you for watching this video for setting up incremental flaps in Battleground Europe.